thank you uh, for coming. Uh, first of all, uh, I, what I can say is uh, I'm really proud to uh, to wear that big coat of uh, of a little man. But after 27 years of uh, presidency of the IHF, René Fazel, uh, with a guy of uh, this experience, so that means that's a good, uh, a really big challenge for me to come uh, just behind. And uh, when you see uh, exactly what is the, the schedule just coming about the Olympic game, uh, a lot of things to solve with NHL. So that means uh, we're not going to celebrate a long time. We're going to be <laughs> busy pretty soon. But uh, that's a great honor for me to, be, uh, to become the 14, I think, uh, president of uh, the IHF. And, uh, and uh, also uh, great to, to, to have by my side. That's a, a new position, senior vice president, donc, uh, Peter Brisa. I think uh, already both of us, uh, we're ready to work uh, and, and do uh, a good job because the big challenge are coming. Thank you, Thank you President Tadzis. Next, we'll go to Senior Vice President Peter Brisa. Peter? Yeah, first of all, I, I'm, I'm very honored to uh, be a right wing of uh, uh, Mr. Luke Tardif, new president of IHF. And uh, as I said, uh, this uh, position is a uh, uh, senior vice president, but I don't consider myself as a senior vice president. I said more like a hard uh, working president and uh, wherever uh, the new president needs me, I, I'll be there. It's going to be a lot of, lot of work for us in the next five years and I'm looking forward, looking forward for this cooperation. Hello, Luke, and congratulations with the election. Uh, can you say it was a little bit unexpected as uh, a lot of people were naming your opponent, Peter Bjiza and Franz Randall as main candidates? Thank you. Yes, uh, I think it was maybe a surprise because, a surprise because uh, um, I was the last candidate to, uh, to, to compete and uh, I just decided to jump in the competition a few days because uh, the deadline of, uh, uh, I mean, before the deadline. Uh, but I think uh, when uh, I start that competition, um, when you want to play a competition, you want to win. Uh, but uh, I know that uh, there, that was not so easy and uh, I made step by step. I tried to convince the people that was not easy because of the COVID, no way to travel, but uh, I made a kind of uh, a virtual world tour to, to get in touch with uh, every federation, explain what I want to do for the future of IHF. Uh, listen to them, to their need, and uh, try to understand exactly what they expected from uh, the new, uh, the new president and the new council. And uh, that's why, uh, with uh, feed of uh, all those consultations, so I, I bring a program at the beginning of September. And I think uh, this uh, worldwide tour gave, gave me. Uh, uh, help me to convince uh, the people. And after that, uh, during we, we had the four or five tour to get elected. So, um, and I think uh, I knew that uh, we, with uh, maybe after three turns, uh, um, a lot of votes were coming on my shoulder from uh, friends. And uh, that's exactly what, what happened. So, yes, that's a surprise because uh, I came late, but um, I think, uh, and I'm happy that I, I finally arrived to convince uh, the people and uh, to be elected as uh, president of the IHF. You know, that's fantastic. Yes, thank you. Congratulations. My question is to Luke. Uh, since uh, you were the underdog and uh, can you please tell, uh, no, no one knows much about you. Uh, can you please tell your priorities 
uh, as the IHF president and your main goals uh, for the for the future? Yeah, first of all, I'm, I'm born in Canada, but living in France in 75. Um, I played uh, professional in Europe, uh, most part of my career in France. So I stopped to play in uh, 90. I get involved in uh, a, a club in the north of France, Rouen. I was president of the club, and after that they asked me to come at the end of the ice, uh, French ice hockey, but uh, at that time we were inside of a nice sport uh, federation, so with figure skating, bobsleigh, and all those things. And uh, our, uh, in 2006, um, our, I had success to, to convince our sport minister to have our own federation, ice hockey federation, so the that's a baby federation because that's only since 2006. Uh, I will, it will be pretty soon my 16 years of uh, president uh, as a French uh, ice hockey federation. And uh, quickly uh, I get involved in IHF first of all in 2008 in the competition committee. That was my first step in, uh, in uh, the IHF and finally um, been elected as a council member in 2010. René Fazel asked me to be uh, in the uh, executive committee uh, as a treasurer. So I was treasurer since 2010 uh, to till right now. And uh, this position uh, helped me to, uh, to understand the, what was the heart of uh, the operation uh, in the middle of the negotiation with IOC, with, I, with uh, NHL, with all the, those other leagues. So that was uh, interesting for me to get the experience. And that's why uh, at the end, it took a long time to convince myself to run. But I said, maybe um, I can do more. And that's why uh, uh, I start to compete and uh, and I'm happy to, today to be president of the International Ice Hockey Federation. Luke, uh, does it mean that from this day when you became uh, IHF president, you got to uh, restart your duties at uh, Federan, uh, Federation, France Federation of Hockey? And as well, as I recall, you are taking serious part at the uh, Olympic Committee from France. So what about those two positions? Thank you. Yes, yeah, that's right. Because uh, with the creation of our federation, so I get involved, first of all, in the Olympic Committee. Uh, and um, quickly, they asked me, and that was a great honor for me, to be chef de mission of the French delegation in Sochi. That was my first experience uh, in the Olympic contest, context. And they asked me again to do the same thing in uh, Pyeongchang. So that means you got the experience of uh, IOC a little bit more inside the organization of uh, the Olympic Games. That was really interesting. And just recently, the end of June, uh, I've been elected in the, in the board of the Olympic Committee and uh, president of the um, uh, Olympic Commission so to directly work to, for the preparation of the Olympic game in Paris in 2024. For, fortunately, uh, I was elected in the end of June and I will have to leave this, uh, 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 this uh, place at the, uh, at the commission. But uh, I mean, to get involved in the World Ice Hockey, that's, uh, uh, <laughs> that's not a problem. But and that's not possible to do both. So uh, pretty soon this week I will have to leave the president of the federation and I will also live my last week uh, inside the board of uh, the Olympic Committee. But that's to join ice hockey, that's not a problem. Mm. Well, congratulations with the election. And the question to you as a proud Canadian, can you tell that now, as you are um, president of the IRHF, we will see more um, best of the best tournaments in Europe and participate in 
and NHL participates in, in the Olympics, etc. Can we see progress in this question with your election? Yes, um, yes, I will be more involved in that process, but both of us, uh, we work on that because uh, quickly, René Fazel, uh, when we start the negotiation, it brings together a group of uh, four people, uh, both of us, Franz Randall and, uh, and Bob Nicholson, to start the negotiation with NHL and uh, do the go-between between IOC, between NHL, between NHLPA, and um, quickly, uh, because that was the same thing, I was in part of the negotiation also for Pyeongchang, but it didn't work at that time. But quickly we saw that um, uh, there is a space for uh, NHL coming, so, and uh, I think IOC understand that. They accept some uh, few things, uh, modification of the way to work, uh, f to help NHL to come, and uh, that's why we, um, we finally had uh, an agreement with them. That's not completely done, because now we're working and we try to study the protocol, of uh, what will be the, 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 the protocol in, in China, uh, do the go-between and give the information to an NHL and NHLPA. But uh, now uh, the, the most part of the discussion is when will be the deadline uh, because, uh, you know, with the COVID, we never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And uh, the discussion is, first of all, all the teams should maybe prepare a plan B uh, if NHL is not coming because of the COVID. But I think if there is no bad surprise, uh, middle of December, something like that, that, that uh, that's not completely uh, uh, arrested. Uh, I think uh, there is big chance to have NHL. So that means the best player in uh, the Olympic game in Beijing. Thank you for the question. Uh, next, we'll go back to Lena. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's a follow-up. Uh, what are your main goals? Uh, like, what do you want to do uh, now? What do you want to change maybe in hockey? I read that you promote in the three and three hockey format. Uh, what are the things? Yeah, uh, that's, uh, oh, you, you read the, my program. That's, that's good. Yeah, the, first of all, I think the, the, the the, the most important thing at the time is finalize uh, everything within the NHL. We just a uh, few weeks ago uh, finished the, the qualification. Now we know exactly we can prepare the schedule. Everything will be solved. So now we, that's more the protocol finalized with NHL. And um, that's our first priority. I think that's important. After that, We've got a new team. We have to organize uh, this team. Uh, after uh, René Fazel of 27 years, we've got newcomer. So we're going to have to organize our team. It will be more a team work. But uh, most part of the, the council already started, if I can say, to work together. And um, just right after the election, that's done. Uh, everybody will come back and bring the, the new people for the new challenge. But the new challenge is, uh, uh, first of all, uh, we've, we're going to have uh, someone in chief of the develop development because that's uh, one of our priority. And after that, bring ice hockey all over the world. And uh, the ice hockey in China, it will be really important. But uh, what I don't want is after the Olympic game, the Pyeongchang, and after the Olympic game, the China, we, I hope we're not, that's not going down. We have to surf on that, keep the momentum, and try to push a little bit further uh, the ice hockey in Asia because there is a good spot of uh, progression and, uh, and we have to work on this uh, continent. That's our goal. Outside of that, um, if you watch the Olympic game in Tokyo, you saw that uh, many uh, disciplines uh, had a different format. Uh, this year, for the first time, they had basketball 3-on-3, three -three, 
rugby came for, with rugby seven a few years ago uh, outside of historical volley they came with uh, beach volley so there is no way we can uh, not knock at the door with a new format because I think uh, ice hockey should be a little bit more represented um, and we already uh, made uh, an experience in the Youth Olympic game in Lausanne that was really fantastic and we want to improve that model who can be also a good way for a development country to start and uh, you know the, we've got new people now they are more zapping and uh, maybe that's a kind of format we can have some uh, young people and uh, a new way to practice and bring the young people playing high, ice hockey Yes, I can just uh, I can just add that uh, development was uh, uh, very much discussed uh, across uh, the programs of all candidates, and uh, beside that, uh, new revenues, new technologies. So we have a lot of challenges, and uh, first we have to unify council, divide the responsibilities, and um, start to build a structure of working committees. Uh, and working groups uh, to the to the concrete topics. So uh, there's a lot of lot of work in front of us, uh, but I believe that we have a great team and um, good chemistry in the team uh, of council. And together with the IHF office, uh, we are able in next month to, to to define our our new tasks. Thank you. The question is for Peter Grzyza. Peter, uh, Luke and before him René Fazel uh, told us many times that World Championship is the biggest product of IIHS. What do you think, what the organization can do to promote it, to bring it back on the world scene, to upgrade it? Uh, the World Championship is actually only one hour money maker. And you can see in the last uh, seven years, it really grew up. The quality is raising the number of the spectators, number of the TV viewers. And of course, this is our, our main goal to have every year a, a better championship. Uh, we can see also the uh, uh, growing numbers from the NHL players participating at the, ch at the championships. And, but it's not only the, the, the big words. Uh, we are speaking about Division 1A, 1B, and also lower divisions that uh, we would like to promote hockey uh, much more and uh, really achieve that uh, all, all those championships uh, organized by IHF uh, will be year by year better and uh, better and better. So this is, this is our goal. Uh, for the next years. This is a question for both speakers, uh, Luke and Peter. Uh, what do you think about the KHL growth overall in Europe? And uh, personally to Luke, we know that you had an idea of uh, a K um, KHL team in Paris. What can you tell us about that? Is, it, is the idea alive or what happened with it? Yes, the, the idea is there. Uh, the problem is uh, we, with the almost two years of COVID, so we had to postpone this idea. And uh, the most concern we've got, that's uh, the ice rink, because we've got uh, uh, Bercy, so that, that, that's where we played the World Championship a few years, 2017. But that's also a concert place, so that means that's not possible to accept the full schedule of KHL. So that's our main purpose. But uh, I should say that with the COVID, we had to, <laughs> I can say, uh, some of the things to solve. But I think uh, now I hope uh, the regular time is coming and the COVID will, will uh, go away. And I think we, the, this uh, idea come back. We have already uh, uh, some, uh, we work on it already uh, because for us, it should be nice to have our best French player back in France with some other uh, professional around. It should be good also for our national team. So we don't uh, give up the idea. And uh, right in September, 
but that's not going to be me <laughs> because uh, I will have to step down as a president, but the idea is there and uh, we're going to restart to work on it. Thank Plus you. We will, we will, uh, Sorry, go ahead, Peter. Yeah, we will have on agenda of next week's um, uh, months actually uh, start of the negotiation with uh, most of uh, key stakeholders. Of course, uh, uh, KHL, European Hockey Club Alliance, Hockey Europe, those are very complex relationships and uh, we, will, we will open it. Uh, in the past, uh, we had uh, a professional roundtable of hockey and uh, we will continue with, uh, with this format to, to open the issues and to discuss with, uh, with our partners uh, and, and, and the clubs and in the nations. Thank you for the question. Uh, final question will go to Lena. Please go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Another question for Luke. Uh, so, uh, we've enjoyed, for 27 years, we've enjoyed warm relationships with René Fazel. Uh, we am in Russia. Uh, what do you think about Russia? What, uh, since you are the new president. Uh, first of all, of all, that will be uh, always in my mind. September 25th in St. Petersburg, <laughs> be the president of the IHF. I will always remember that. And uh, for sure, you cannot think about high level hockey uh, without uh, Russia. So that means we're going to have a championship coming in 2023. That's uh, pretty soon. And it will pleasure to uh, work with the Russian uh, Federation to organize that. And also, uh, we've got a famous player to join us in the, in the council. And uh, that's great to have a hockey player get involved in the organization of ice hockey. So uh, I think René had the, was a part of the family. But uh, I will work with him a few times. He will have to guide me in this uh, new job. But there, um, there's no, um, no change, uh, even if I'm, uh, I don't know, now a citizen of the world, living in France, living, uh, born in Canada. So um, every time I'm coming here, uh, I feel comfortable. And uh, it will be uh, really interesting to, to work with Russia, because we need, we, uh, in our program of development of hockey, we want to involve great na nation. And Russia is a great nation, so we we got uh, a lot of things in our head to ask the, the federation to help us for the development of hockey in some country. 